On Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, you can set it up so you deal maximum damage every single attack. This does take a bit of grinding as it does require a lot of coins. Once set up though, it makes most battles very easy. Using multi bounce, you can defeat any regular enemy group in a single turn as long as you don't mess up the action command of course. I will show you how I set this up, then I will do some testing on the hardest opponents in the game. Let's grab all those lovely star points from that amazing daisy and then let's begin this video. Here we go. The first thing to do is get as many piantas as possible. Now you can't go above 9999. You can see here if I purchase one pianta it doesn't go any higher unfortunately. However I do think trading coins for piantas is the fastest way. What I recommend doing is going into the pit of 100 trials with the money money badge equipped. Now this will increase the amount of coins you get. You also get a clear bonus for every stage completed in the pit. So that with the money money badge should get you tons of coins really quickly. The next thing to do is to sell some of my existing badges. Since there's a cap on the maximum amount of badges you can have. I need to make sure I have enough room for all those power rush badges. Now this may take a bit of time so let's speed this up a bit. Alright, that's looking good. Those were pretty much just junk badges anyway. I can always buy these back at a later date if for some reason I decided I needed them. These were junk though so I shouldn't need to do that. Now for the fun part. Buying a ridiculous amount of Power Rush badges. I don't really need 99 but I'm going to buy as many as possible. I would have thought I would need around 55 to do maximum damage against every single enemy. Now I'm not going to make you watch all of this so let's skip ahead until I have all the power rush badges that I need here. Alright you probably won't have realised that I've edited out about 30 minutes of this video but I think we are there. I have enough power rush badges. Now that I have the badges that I need it's time to adjust Mario's HP. Now it's also useful to have 99 badge points here. What I'm going to do is take down Mario's HP until it's at 5. That may take a bit of time so again I think it's best to skip ahead until this is done. Oh right I think we are there. Brilliant so now Mario has 5 HP. What this means is most attacks should now do 99 damage even against enemies with high defence. This should be quite interesting to test out. So I think my setup is complete now. I have equipped a few other badges. Let me talk through what I have done here. Flower Finder with Flower Saver makes it very difficult to run out of flower points allowing you to use multi bounce every turn. Spike Shield and Ice Power allows you to jump on pretty much any enemy. Defend Plus Damage Dodge Last Stand Useful if you mess up an action command and have to take damage. Chill out prevents enemy first strikes. That should be self explanatory. Then feeling fine prevents enemy status effects. If the enemy does end up getting in a turn and hits you with a nasty status effect. You can get into all sorts of problems. So that's a pretty good reason to have this badge equipped. This is what happened when I failed an action command without the feeling fine badge equipped. It didn't go very well and I ended up having to escape so definitely equip this badge that's for sure.
Here's the first opponent I will be testing out on. Just don't do something stupid like that. Let's try again. All right, here's my second attempt. This time I can actually jump on the enemy as he's jumping. It's an instant kill, skipping the difficult second part of this battle. You can one-shot him with the hammer as well, just in case he's sidestepping like he is here. Alright, now for Bone Tail. Bone Tail has 200 health, so a single normal jump won't win the battle. Luckily, my partner came in here for the finishing blow. Now for the Shadow Queen, even if you win the first part of this battle in one turn, you still have to do the second part. The second part of this battle is actually quite difficult. Your attacks still do no damage, so you have to survive until the audience gets taken by the Shadow Queen. You do actually have to attack the boss to make that happen, so bear that in mind. You can't just stand there defending as an example. I got extremely lucky here to get that lovely fog cloud. That doesn't always happen though, so you may need life streams here. Once that part is over, you can one-shot the Shadow Queen and finish the game. There we go. The Shadow Queen was no match for the power of Mario and a few badges. Goodbye Shadow Queen and don't come back. So finally, is this cheating? Well, that's kind of a difficult question to answer. In my opinion, I would say it's not cheating. However, it does make most parts of the game ridiculously easy. So bear that in mind if you are going to do this for yourself. There will be no real challenge in the game anymore if you can do 99 damage to every single enemy. It may be quite fun to try this out on an alternative save file though but bear in mind it will take a long time to set up. And there we go, that's the end of this video. I hope you found that interesting. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is always very much appreciated. Check out a previous video on the screen. You can also subscribe from here if you want to do so. And thanks for watching.